Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today's project is a fun, easy, one day project. It is called Felted Pods. When I saw the picture of the cute little pods that are holding the succulent plants, I thought, oh, that's great, let's do that sometime. So, I did it. All right, what you need is 50 yards of worsted to Aran weight yarn and size 11 to 15 double point knitting needles and off you go. So in no time you have it knitted up and then you can felt it. So I had some remnant yarn left over that was hand spun. I threw a bunch of colors together. It was really fun sitting there and I'm like, what am I going to do with it? Perfect for this little felted pod. Now I think because it is my own hand spun and some of it's tighter, twisted, and some of it's bulky and bumpy, it didn't felt like the ones in the pictures. It's a little bit rougher. So the ones in the pictures kind of do make a pod. This did not, so I had to just gather it at the top. No big deal. Cute little succulent in there. After you knit it, you felt it. The instructions say in the washing machine, that's great. You can felt it however you like. I personally like to do it in the sink because I have full control. I can watch it happen. And like there was a time once in the washing machine, a piece of it folded over on each other. I didn't catch it and then it felted together. So this way I just have control over it. This, I think because it was hand spun, it was really hard to get it to felt. I had to scrub it together a lot just to get it like this and I can still see some of the stitches, but as you can see, it is felted. The pattern is called Felted Pods by Julie Weissenberger of Coco Knits. I will include that link in the description. So do enjoy your fun one day remnant felted project. Makes a great little gift or something fun for your shelf. You could make a set of them. I was good with one. All right, and don't forget Patreon and merchandise on my website. Anything you do helps out a lot. All right, happy knitting and felting, and thanks for watching.